Hello and welcome to the Leap video tutorials. In this tutorial you will learn how to start the simulation with SimMom and the automatic delivery module and you will also get an overview of how to control the Leap interface when using the automatic delivery module with SimMom in manual mode. Start your Leap instructor application from the Lardal simulation homepage. When LEAP starts, you first have to select your simulator. We will, for this tutorial, select the virtual simulator. And then select SimMom as our virtual simulator. Now you first have to select which delivery module you want to use. Manual delivery or automatic delivery. In manual delivery, it is the instructor that acts like a puppeteer and pushes the baby through the birth canal. It is also the module you will use together with all postpartum scenarios. In automatic delivery, the ADM module delivers the baby automatically. We will select the automatic delivery module. Next you have to select an operating mode for the automatic delivery module. Manual mode or automatic mode. In manual mode the instructor controls manually when the baby is delivered. In automatic mode the instructor is running either a self-authored pre-programmed scenario or a scenario purchased from SimStore. We will select manual mode. Now you have to select what delivery type you want to use. There are four delivery positions for the baby. Occiput anterior, occiput posterior, breech or shoulder dystocia. Once you have selected the delivery position, a setup instruction page will show you where to lubricate as indicated in the pictures and how to place the baby in the automatic delivery module. Review the instructions on the screen and ensure you have set up the ADM correctly. When you are finished, select Continue. If you want to add electronic fetal monitoring history to your scenario, you can select from the presets or create your own EFM history. The EFM history will be displayed on the patient monitor once the scenario is started. When you are done, select Add EFM History. The scenario will now start in a paused mode. Start the scenario by selecting the Start Scenario icon in the lower left corner of the screen or tap the spacebar. The EFM History will generate and the scenario is started. This is the LEAP interface when running SimMom with the automatic delivery module in manual mode. You can control the delivery by using the controls in the automatic delivery tab on the screen to activate delivery of the head or change the mother's uterine activity. Select the automatic delivery setup button. In the dialog that opens you can specify the mother's uterine activity and decide when to deliver the baby. Next you start the ADM. In the automatic delivery tab you will see a graphical representation of the baby pushing and delivering. The graphic is not synchronized with the actual delivery of the baby by the ADM. You also have a possibility to deliver the baby immediately if you select the button Deliver Head Now. If you would like to pause the delivery, there is a pause button in the ADM tab. You will be notified in the graphics when the delivery is complete. This completes the tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.